back to the Cheap Wolf Collection. We are finally doing a ColourPop video of the last 2023 collection. I know it's only been like five months. What happened, Brooke? How could you let us down? We counted on you. I am so sorry. There's just been a lot of things happening. I kind of talk a little bit about it a little later on in this video if you guys want to know a little bit more, but I welcome you all back to the channel. If you guys happen to be brand new here, hello, huge welcome. My name is Brooke. I'm a content creator that specializes in Sailor Moon merchandise and goods that come out here in the United States and across the world. So if you're a big Sailor Moon fan, hit that subscribe button because I think you're gonna like it here. This video is kind of special because if you guys have been a subscriber of mine since 2020, I did a video all about the first ColourPop collection that came out in early 2020. I was not that great at makeup then. I have improved so much over the last few years thanks to makeup professionals and listening to people who have more expertise in the area. And now I think I'm finally getting to where I really like how I can do my makeup. No one's a natural at first. It comes with time and practice. I love looking back at the growth from that 2020 video to today. I'm just like, look at me, look at that girl, you know, who was so nervous. I didn't even really know how to apply eyeshadow. I only did it because Sailor Moon collaborated with ColourPop. Fast forward to today, I have many ColourPop eyeshadow palettes now. I do eyeshadow almost every weekend when I go out. I know Grayson is gonna say, take her out to the world, Kurt. <laughs> little inside joke between some Sailor Moon friends and I. It's just so interesting to go back and see, you know, how far I've come. Maybe a lot of you guys are the same way. Have you had some serious growth over the last couple of years? Um, or maybe you practiced and practiced and you got better at something. You know, that's all it takes. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I created this full face of makeup. We are gonna be focusing mostly on ColourPop products. So I'm not gonna talk about what products I use that's not ColourPop throughout this video, like my foundation, my primers, etc. But if you have any questions throughout this video, even about the products that I don't name by brand, feel free drop me a comment below. I'd be happy to let you know what products I use and where I get it. Anything that you want to know, I'm an open book for the most part, and I will try to get back to you guys if I can. We're going to start from like no makeup. So this is going to be no makeup, Brooke. And we will transform like the Sailor Guardians into this. It's going to be really fun, I think, for you guys to see step by step how I did this entire face of makeup. Before we get into that part of the video, I want to show you every single one of the ColourPop products, the unboxing of those products. And I also did some swatches on my arm for the first time. I don't know if it came out great, but I did it and I want to show you guys that. So we'll get into that first and then we will jump into the full face of makeup. If you want to skip to different parts, like if you only want to see the unboxing of the products, you can go here. If you want to see the full face of makeup and skip the unboxing because maybe you own the product. You're just curious about my makeup look. You can go to this timestamp. You never have to watch the full video. You can watch certain parts. Let's go. We're going to unbox every one of the 10 piece makeup collection that ColourPop released back in September, 2023. This first product is a face and eye gloss and they called it Moon Crystal Power as the color. And according to their site, it's a duochrome face, eye and lip gloss that shifts from a dreamy purple to a cosmic green. Beautiful. They state it's lightweight and delivers all the shine and none of the stickiness for a comfy feel. And then we have their Ultra Lip Duos, which contains a blotted lip and a gloss in each pack. The blotted lip is a medium coverage matte lipstick that creates a soft, diffused look. It is completely transfer proof and long wearing, but also lightweight and comfortable. No cracking or flacking. <laughs> Leaves lips smooth and finished. I'm just regurgitating what ColourPop says on their site, but you get the idea. It also comes with an ultra glossy lip that provides extreme shine and a custom like feel and no stickiness. There were two different sets to choose from and many options to buy either one set or the bundle with both. I'm really loving the packaging so far. They really went the extra mile to make it all Sailor Moony. Even the inside has the Sailor Guardian symbols. At any time during this video, don't forget to leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried these products before and what you think of them. Are they products you use on a daily basis or do you use them occasionally? We're checking out the two highlighters now. First, we've got Luna. What do you guys think of the packaging, by the way? Were you impressed or not impressed? I think they're pretty cute. The bubbles on the packaging actually have a little bit of shine to them, makes it for a little unique part of the box. Now we're opening up Artemis. If you guys want full details on any of these products as far as what they are and how to use them, don't forget, check out ColourPop.com. This collection is still available to 
purchase. Something that we didn't get the last Sailor Moon collection were cream gel liners. So I'm really excited to use these and see what I think of them. They come in two dreamy colors. These are $9 each. I always love ColourPop's price point. I feel like it's a good median for makeup. It's not too cheap, not too expensive. We're looking at the star of this 10 piece makeup collection. And this is the pressed powder palette with 12 beautiful colors. If you remember back when these were released in September, there was a lot of talk about the color choices in this palette being too cool. And it's always fun to have different opinions as long as you're respectful and kind about it. We are all unique and we like different things. Let me know what you thought of these colors down there in the comments. Were you vibing with them? Were you not vibing with them? In my experience, even if I don't like every single color in a palette, I tend to always use at least a few. Speaking of, here are the swatches that I told you I attempted for the first time. So be kind. I don't know if I did a swatch properly or not, but here's how they look on my skin tone. These are the eyeshadows in order that they are on the palette and then the two highlighters in the shape of the moon. Please don't mind the hair. I am a hairy individual. That's just how I was born. That was all of the ColourPop 2023 collection that released September 2023. Now let's get into how I did this look from start to finish. Okay, friends, I think we're ready to go. I'm actually filming with the front facing camera this time, so I'm not used to looking in the right direction. I apologize if my eyeballs are all over the place and also a little nervous about being on YouTube without any makeup on. Please be kind, rude comments and harsh criticism will not be tolerated. This is a friendly and positive space. I'm just a Sailor Moon fan who loves to play around with makeup. It's been five months. I am so ready to use these products. So we're going to do a makeup look from start to finish. The only thing that I haven't shown you guys is that I have fully moisturized my face. Whenever you put on a full face of makeup, it's good to make sure you start with a clean face, a moisturized face. So put on your favorite moisturizer, let that soak in a bit. So you have soft and smooth skin for makeup application. I always do my eyeshadow first in case I have fallout on my face. I can always wipe that away and then I can put my foundation over it. Makeup is subjective and that's the whole fun I think about makeup is there's really no right or wrong way to do it as long as you know you're being safe and you know, not putting it directly in your eye or anything like that. That's just what I prefer. So please don't feel like you have to do it exactly like me. This is just what has been working for me lately. I've definitely improved my makeup game over the last few years. I've just kept at it and I, I've improved that way. You know, you cannot improve and grow unless you keep practicing, you keep trying, you keep showing up for yourself. And I'm not gonna go into any depth in any of these other products unless you guys ask me a specific question down there in the comments below. I am trying out a new product today. I usually use a different eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer is very important, I've learned. It makes your eyeshadow last longer, it stays crease free, makes it look more pigmented. And normally I use this one, but I'm basically out. When I went to Ulta, they were out of it. So I'm using a new one for this video. I have no clue how it's like going to work out. So hopefully it turns out okay. So I am going to apply um, some eyeshadow primer. And you just want to make sure to rub it in so, you know, it looks translucent. If I'm going to have some a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my eye, you know, kind of pat a little bit in there too. This is so fun. I hope you guys enjoy the chill vibes of this video. We're just hanging out. We're doing makeup together. And I hope this also inspires you guys out there. If you feel like you're not very good at makeup or you're intimidated by makeup, that used to be me. I still am on some days, but I've gotten over that intimidation over the last couple of years just by, you know, continuously trying, like I said. So I hope you guys can come to that as well. Feel free to share your guys' experiences down there in the comments with your makeup journey. I'm definitely not a makeup professional, but I do listen to professionals. Uh, one of my best friends, shout out to Lonnie is a makeup professional and she actually helped me a lot within the last year and a half with my makeup application. So we got the beautiful Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon for Love and Justice palette. You guys saw me unboxing it. I did swatches. I already washed them off my arm. I have kind of dove into them already, but not on my face yet. We're going to wing it. I don't have any specific look planned. Some of these colors are really, really light as you guys saw on the swatches. They're like more highlighty. As far as all of the eyeshadow I will solely be using this palette we won't go into any other makeup palettes at all although I will point out real quick if you guys care to see I still continuously use their 2020 palette I love the lenticular image on this I wish they continued on with that idea I think it just gives it something extra really enjoyed this one and I've used the heck out of this palette I'm a little intimidated for today's video I always 
worry. Someone out there is going to be real hateful and rude. I, I do get rude comments from time to time. I really love that blue sparkle color, the starry sky, which let's talk about these names real quick. Twinkles, Save the World, Schoolgirl. So cosmic. Okay. Secret Powers, Friends Forever, Starlight, Aqua, Her Destiny, Always There, Girl Power, Starry Sky. Eh. Some of these are really generic. Friends forever. <laughs> I mean, it's really cute. You know, Sailor Moon, one of the big themes of the show is female friendships and they're great female friendships. They always stick by each other. Now I am using Save the World on my inner eye here. Just kind of dab, dab dab and going up here. I do it on both of my eyes. So I don't forget what I'm doing. That's really sparkly, really pretty. I do want to use a little bit of uh, Friends Forever as well down here closer to the tear duct. Let's go into the secret powers. That is beautiful. I am so late to the game. I know a lot of you guys have bought it already, have used it. Here are your opinions of it. Do you like the colors? Do you not like the colors? All opinions welcomed as long as you state it in a kind and respectful way to where you're not putting others down. Now I'm gonna try her destiny. And I'm gonna just do this. You see how I'm just kind of pat patting and getting that solid line. We're gonna blend a little later, so it's not gonna look so harsh. <laughs> now we're gonna go into that aqua color. I'm assuming they named that after Mercury. Shine aqua illusion. This is gonna be kind of like a uh, soft pastel look. That's the vibe I'm getting. And don't worry if they look a little off. When you get to the blending stage, I promise you, we will fix this. But I do wanna end the edge with some starry sky, which is the darkest of the blue. Look how deep that is. We'll just kind of do a little bit of that since that's much more deeper. Although I need to add a little more blue. I kind of... I could fix this. I always like to think of uh, Bob Ross whenever I make a mistake. It's like, these are happy accidents. It allows you to learn how to fix your mistakes. How do you learn to fix your mistakes if you never have any mistakes? And you will start to notice some fallout. I will take care of that. A lot of people like to tap their brush, you know, to help with the fallout. I'll usually just wipe the fallout a little bit later with a little wipe. I actually have a little makeup wipe right here. It's blending time, my friends. Let's go for it. So I'm gonna start with the darkest color and then move this way. And we're just kinda, I like to do a circular motion. Applying a little pressure. And we can always add more color too if you feel like it's in here. And you're gonna notice it getting a lot lighter because we are taking some of that pigment and we're blending it in. I like to take a little bit of that lighter color blue, go back in there. Blend, blend, blend. Do not be afraid to blend. Now we're gonna take a little bit more of that blue and start to blend into that beautiful, gorgeous purple color. Trust the process. I promise it's gonna look so good in the end. So we are gonna take a fluffier brush to blend out a little bit of that blue, a little bit better. That blue is so bright. It needs to be toned down, in my opinion. So we got this side blended. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just make sure it just blends smoothly. And then we're gonna add some under the eye color. I'm so sorry for taking so long to do this video. The last part of 2023 was, it was busy for me. Definitely wanted to do this much sooner than how it happened. And I just want to say I'm so sorry. And thanks for your guys' patience on this. I know I've been asked in between, like, are you doing a ColourPop video? I want to see your looks. And I'm like, yes, absolutely doing a ColourPop video. Just life. Don't know when I can do it. If you guys are brand new to the channel and you like the vibes here and you're enjoying this hangout and you're a big Sailor Moon fan or maybe even a collector or maybe you're even wanting to dive into makeup. I'm not really a makeup channel, but I always have makeup looks on my videos. I usually don't film without makeup on. If you're into any of that, please hit that subscribe button. Join the growing pack here on YouTube. It's always good times, good vibes here. And everybody is welcomed as long as you're kind, respectful. I mean, we can get dramatic sometimes, okay? Like we can feel that way. We can feel our feelings. We're on this earth to learn, grow, and nobody's perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. I just want to make sure you guys all feel included and welcome. 
welcomed. Maybe in your community where you are from, you don't feel welcomed. Maybe you feel alienated. Maybe people don't understand you or you feel like people don't understand you and you don't have a lot of friends. Well, I am here to tell you, you have a friend in me. You can always come on over to my channel and we'll have a wonderful time. Don't forget to check me out on social media too if you want more content. I post a lot through my stories, especially about my life and what's going on there. Yeah, if you just kind of want to see more of that. I'm at Ochipa Wolf everywhere. I welcome you all. When you're working with a lot of colors, especially with eyeshadow, sometimes a color, especially the dominant dark blue here, can sometimes overtake the other one. Feel free to just dip that brush back into the color that's being overtaken and kind of do another light layer, blend it in, just make it pop a little more if you feel like it's not popping enough, you know? Also, don't be too hard on yourself, especially if your makeup doesn't come out how you planned. In fact, I don't even plan my makeup anymore. These colors were not planned. We're just trying them out. I find if I plan an eye look, more often than not, it's not gonna come out exactly how I envisioned it. And then I get a little bummed, you know? I'm human, I feel those emotions. I just like to take life a little easier sometimes, especially when it comes to makeup. This does not have to be serious. I'm really happy with this. I do kind of want to do a little shimmer at the top and this palette has beautiful shimmers. So I think I might do the Friends Forever. Here at the top, get a little, it'll also help tone down the harshness of that blue that we used. It's time to do some of the under eye stuff. I'm using girl power for the uh, lower lash line here. This is such a dreamy look. Got a little bit of that purple underneath. Let's try to blend in that purple a little bit, let's see. Definitely like this one better. It's okay, it'll all look good in the end. You know, after you add your lashes, your eyeliner, all that, I promise it'll look good. You guys are just seeing the, like, the weird part of makeup where, you know, it doesn't look quite great yet and you're like, well, this isn't looking good, Brooke. I'm gonna take So Cosmic, put it where the tear duct is so it can brighten up that area. I'm pretty happy with the color. Definitely need liner and mascara. Let's do it. We do have a couple of liners in this one. I wonder if we should do the darker purple one. Pretty much close to that same purple that we used. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of this right here. Oh, I love that. It just made that purple pop. It's got, you know, a little bit of shimmer in it. I did take a little bit of that blue and kind of blend it into that purple. Eyeliner time. I'm just gonna use a liquid eyeliner with a felt tip here. Shout out to Lonnie for giving me this best tip. Do your eyeliner looking down until you get it straight. I don't always do eyeliner, but eyeliner can really pull an eyeshadow look together. Pretty colors. I might want to add a little bit more blue. Remember, it's okay to go back. Eyeliner for the other side. Let's see if I can get them both even. Sometimes they just look like sisters, not twins. <laughs> Close enough. Now for the foundation. I like to put on a primer for my foundation, so we're gonna do that. Let that soak into my skin. I like to apply my primer after my eyeshadow because I'll have fallout sometimes and I'll wipe it off with a little makeup remover wipe and then that takes my primer off. So I'll just put my primer around everything. Its purpose is to just help makeup stick to your skin better, apply smoother. <laughs> You're beautiful! And I'm talking about you guys on YouTube. I like to mix my foundations, my custom color. That's what we're doing. Ooh, I gotta go get my beauty blender wet. I do apply my foundation with a soaking wet beauty blender. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this, by the way. I could totally do more looks. So we makeup inspired, maybe, like of the Sailor Guardians. And I just dab this all around. So when it comes to your eye makeup, you're gonna wanna go around your eye as careful as possible. I know I kind of have a thick boy right here. Kind of hard to get into them crevices. But we'll, we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Sometimes I'll use a smaller beauty blender to go around my eyes, but I'm being lazy today. We've already been filming for, oh my God, 47 minutes, oh my God. You guys are not gonna see all of that cut. I'm gonna cut it down, way down, way down. Goodbye, freckles. This is why I had to do the makeup video first. So next week, my friends and I, we leave for Mexico. And I'm so looking forward to it because I need a vacation where I'm not working, where I'm strictly relaxing and that's really what we plan to do 
a relaxing vacation. Next Tuesday, I'm getting my lashes done, which this video might not even drop until after. So on Tuesday, I'm getting actual lashes applied, like lash extensions. I've never done that. I've always thought that they looked so cool. But since we're going to Mexico, we're gonna be in the water. I'm not gonna be able to do my makeup because we're gonna be swimming a lot. And I and I wanna look kind of cute, you know, some days. So I decided to try lashes to help me, you know, just feel comfortable and confident in my look. I would not be able to do this with a piece of hair on my nose. This full makeup look with, for ColourPop after I get my lashes done. So that's why I'm doing this before my Eternal TRA video. But I think I might have my lashes for that one. That'll be fun. I hope they look good. I've never done them before. It's a, definitely a very expensive bougie service. So I do not plan to get fills unless I come into a lot of money. <laughs> I'm doing it just solely this one time for this, for this trip. You guys, I love this eye look. This is so dreamy, so cute. And you know what, it kind of looks Sailor Mooney. You know that her transformation color background? Holy crap, is that what they were going for with this color palette? I feel like we just made a breakthrough. I remember there was a lot of criticism when they announced this color palette. A lot of people were like, oh, I hate this color palette. It's too much cool tones. Not a fan of cool tones, need some variety. And I get it, you know, I totally get it. Everybody's got their own opinions on it. This kind of reminds me of transformation scene colors, you know, time for some concealer it's all coming together i was getting a little worried there for a second i was like did i pick wrong colors you know and i think it's turning out gonna do a little concealer under my eyes kind of brighten up that under eye area give my long nose a little little highlight blend that as close as we can to cut that shadow underneath there this is always a challenge for me with this big boy this big boy blooder, <laughs> blooder, this big boy beauty blender. Please let me know what you guys think of this video so far. Are you enjoying it? I know I'm gonna have probably one person that says, bring back collecting content. This is kind of collection related. There are Sailor Moon collectors who just buy the makeup to collect it. No joke. Like that's all they use it for. They actually don't use it. They just collect it. Cause you know, the packaging is really beautiful. Collectors love that. I love that. For me personally, I don't collect the, the ColourPop makeup. I do save the boxes, but I do not buy it to collect. I buy it to use it. We'll add a little contour or two in a minute. Give it a blend closer. Another reason why this video took me so long to do, I was also really nervous. I am older than a lot of these makeup people out on the internet. I'm almost 36 years old. I had the most humongous pores in, that I've ever seen on my face. And my skin has texture. I don't have that soft, silky, dewy skin <laughs> that a lot of people have. But I've gone through it in my life, so it reflects on that. So I, I sometimes I could be a little harsh on myself on how I look. And I know we're not supposed to be that. And of course, I, I preach the opposite on my socials. I'm like, you know, love you for you. You're beautiful the way you are. But the truth of the matter is I do get, get in my head sometimes, you know, and you can't help sometimes, but to compare yourself to others. You shouldn't, but the reality is sometimes it happens. Sometimes you just gotta allow yourself to feel those feelings. Don't take them too strongly. Like don't act out on anything. I'm just adding a little bit of contour to get the little darker color concealer on there. But you know, I'm just being honest with you guys. It happens. And I was in my head about a lot of things. And I think it had to do with the stress. Remember how I told you guys I, I was really busy the last half of the year and stress is definitely a mood killer and it makes you feel a little less confident in your life, more critical. That's where I was. 2024 seems to be going great so far. I hope it's going great for you guys. I hope this is our year. And I don't do a very harsh contour. There are some, you know, makeup people and maybe, maybe it's some of you guys that love a harsh con contour and more power to you. I don't really go too, too dark. I will add a little bit of powder here, a little bit of setting powder for my creases. I, I have, you know, smile lines. And if I don't set that with a powder after a liquid foundation, it, it'll look bad. <laughs> it, it, will, it will just not look great. It'll look better if I set those creases just a little bit. And I also do uh, it under my eye too, with a little bit of that translucent setting powder. You can use any brand. I'm not trying to call out too many brands in this video, except ColourPop, because that's the focus of this video. You're looking so pretty. And then after that, I will go in with a little contour powder palette and a, and a little fluffy brush here. And then I'll just kind of do a little pat, 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 pats here. Make the contour just look a little better. Thank you guys so much for watching, by the way. I, I really do appreciate you guys. Get in there, get in there. Here. Just 
to help me out. Again, I want to reiterate, I'm not the best at makeup. This is just how I do it. The last collection, 2020, it was blush. And these are highlighters. Let me add a little blush first, honestly. Bring some color back to my cheeks. Cute, cute, cute. Let's try one of these. <laughs> We've got this crazy purple one. Should we go all out and try that? Or should we go more subtle? This is actually really pretty. I'm, ooh, I'm doing the purple, I'm doing the purple. God, I hope this turns out okay. It's, it's dark like a blush. Okay. Oh, that's really dark. That's okay though. I'll just blend it out. Okay, I'm not mad. Just barely tap it. Barely tap it. That's kind of pretty. Oh my god. Not mad. Not mad. Uh, maybe we should try this one too. Make it pop. What is going on here? Should we add a little bit up here on our eyeshadow? And then we're doing this one, which is the Artemis one. <laughs> This is really magical, but let's do brows first. I just fill in my brows just a bit and then we'll get to the lipsticks. I don't know if we're going to use the dewy face gloss. Let me know if you guys want me to do another makeup look with the ColourPop stuff and we can use some of the other products. I kind of feel like we need a little, little highlight on our nose. Luckily, my brows are pretty thick as it is, so I, don't, I really don't have to color them in too much. Fill them in just a bit. They're already pretty prominent. I'm so happy I'm finally using this collection. I didn't want to even look at it or touch it until I filmed it. So I avoided it like the plague, literally. I wanted to open it up, do a swatch for the first time. Man, that was my first time ever doing a swatch, by the way. That was stressful. I was kind of uh, in my head about, you know, making it quote unquote perfect. That's like one of my biggest areas I need to improve on as a content creator. I always get in my head and I'm like, oh my God, I have to have this perfect shot all the time. And the reality is that doesn't happen most of the time. You're gonna have a lot of things that you're gonna have to deviate on. You're gonna have to pivot. You gotta just not set those expectations. I still work on that today. I would love to try brow lamination someday. Have many of you guys done that? I feel like I, am, I would be a good candidate for that because I have very thick brows and you know, they just kind of set your brows upwards where they look really good. But again, that's another service. I already get my nails done and I get monthly facials. I don't wanna add another service into my life unless I come into some money. Brows look good, fluff them up on the edges. Oh my God, I forgot about my tea. I'm drinking some spearmint tea, which is very good for skin and hormonal issues, by the way. Out of my box lunch dishwasher safe mug from Just Funky. That's very cold now. I think we should do some lips. Lips are kind of chappy. We've got some options here. We've got all these. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I might do I might do that one. For these, I'm gonna apply a, a lip primer to my chappy lips. Chap lips happen, okay. And then I am going to use the Sailor Fuku color, which, whose Sailor Fuku is this? None. This collection, I feel like Sailor Moon fans should have named some of these products. I will say I've never been a fan of, of these lip things that they do. A lipstick or a lip liner. Oh, that would be nice. I'm not really a fan of this type of situation, but the color is nice. I like this color. If this was like a lipstick, I, I actually have a lipstick like this. Normally with all lipsticks, I will wear a liner. I'm, I'm getting old. That stuff pools. And the only thing that stops it is a liner. Let's do a gloss on top. Also blot it out a little bit really do like that color. Sailor Fuku may not be a color of a Sailor Fuku, but this color is fire. This is the gloss. What am I using? Pretty Guardian. I love that. I really love the new term that they used, Guardian. I like Soldier too, but Guardian is beautiful. But let me let that dry just a bit. Wow, that purple highlighter. <laughs> Oh man, this is a vibe. It's got iridescent glitter in it. You guys, this is beautiful. And I mean, you can wear them alone if you if you would like. Like, you don't have to put the gloss on top. But in my case, we have to try it. Look at that. That is gorgeous. What do you guys think so far? Did I tell you guys to trust the process? Thank you guys for trusting me. Let's get out. 
my mascara. Right now I'm just using a travel size. Oh gosh, I hope I can get these lashes blacked out. I got a lot of the pigment color on them. So I'm gonna curl my lashes first. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Normally I like to wear falsies, like the ones that you use some lash glue and you put them on. I am not using those as of late because the lash glue sometimes can last for days. Even if you wash your face or take a shower, sometimes a little bit just sticks on you. And I'm trying to avoid that for my lash appointment next week. So, you know, my lash tech doesn't have to deal with all the gunkiness of the leftover glue. So I will just be using mascara on my natural lash. So it may not have much of a dramatic look that you guys are used to seeing. I do most of the time wear falsies in my videos. The last couple, I don't think I was wearing falsies just because like I said, I'm trying to avoid all that glue residue. What I'm trying to get at is I still haven't like perfected the method of mascara on natural lashes. So this is the part where I am asking for some tips. <laughs> How do you guys apply your mascara to your natural lash? I do like to curl mine. Mine are always like, <laughs> straight down. I don't know why I was born with it. So you see how it just curled those lashes. Mascara is always hitting this. Sometimes I, I open my eyes too wide and then I get mascara on all that eyeshadow that we just applied. We got that one. Doesn't see the difference. Let's curl this other one. Don't forget to hit that like button while you guys are hanging out with me as I curl this other lash. And also I hope you guys are having a great day. Okay, we got that curled. See, I got a little black up there. We'll fix that, we'll fix that. We'll pop in a little bit more color. It happens, it happens, but you can always go back in and fix. Close enough. Now for the bottom lashes. Beautiful. I think I like that right here. You know, close enough. Don't aim for perfection. Just don't. I would love to experiment more with these products. So yes, please let me know if you guys would like me to do another makeup look. We could do it to where it's not the whole look. Like I don't have to show you guys the foundation. I don't have to show you all the other boring parts. We can just solely focus on like a Sailor Moon ColourPop look. Let me know. I, I appreciate all the feedback. That's how I know to make content what you guys want to see. I also like to make content for myself too, like things that I want to show, but I also want to make content that you guys enjoy watching as well. And a lot of the stuff is crossover for me too. Like I enjoy it too. This is a whole vibe. I like it. I really like the lower lash line. Do you see how it's like just these beautiful colors? Folks, we're done. I just have to set my makeup with a setting spray, but I don't think I even need to go in and, and change anything. Honestly, I'm really happy with all the colors, how they turned out. So let me get my setting spray. I know I just bought a new one. We're trying out a new product today too. Trying a new setting spray. Let's see here. Let's let the lashes dry a little bit. Um, here's the final look before I set my makeup and do my hair. Let me know what you guys think. Remember how I told you guys, trust the process. It looked very harsh when we applied a lot of these eyeshadows at first. But if you just blend, 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 I promise you they'll look good. And most colors can be blended in together, I promise you. I've thrown in some funky stuff before, and as long as you blend it out, just make it look good, as, as good as possible. You can usually fix most mistakes. Really like this lip color. It's quite beautiful. And it kind of, when you put a gloss on, it kind of hides my chappy lips right now. My poor, poor chappy lips. They're not usually this chap. Let's set the makeup. Shake it up real good. Shield my mic. And there you have it, friends. My makeup is set. We are done. Time to go do hair so I can show you guys, you know, how it looks all thrown together. Cause you know, you know. Here's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, watching this video, hanging out with me tonight. Let me know what you guys think of the look that I came up with. Do you like it? Do you not like it? All I ask is you please be kind down there in the comments. I am a human being, I have feelings, and I can get sensitive. Also, let me know if you guys have tried out the 2023 Color Pop Sailor Moon collection. The cool news is this collection, as well as their 2020 Sailor Moon collection, is still in 
in stock as of filming this video. I'll have links to all of the Sailor Moon collections down there below. I'll just uh, shoot the SailorMoonFanNetwork.com blog with all the links to all the products. Maybe you didn't buy them when they first came out and now you kind of want to try them after seeing my review. I really do like a lot of these products. I don't take them too seriously. I know a lot of people, you know, criticize the colors that ColourPop chose and I could dig deep into the names into the color choices, into the products used, but I don't like to do that. I just wanna have fun, support Sailor Moon, have fun with the products, that kind of stuff. I will say, I wish they did different products. I would love like a liquid eyeliner in different colors. That would have been nice. They do some liquid eyeshadows that I think would be perfect for Sailor Moon. Maybe in the, in the future, for future collections, they can release different products. I feel like these were very similar to the last collection. You know, we, have, we got the eyeshadow palette. 2020 had blushes instead of highlighters, which, oh my gosh, I didn't know if I was gonna like that purple highlighter, but I really like it. It's really magical. Magical. And I thought that, you know, it was going to be a big mistake trying it on video. And then as you guys saw, if you watched the application part of this video, I was really pleased with how that looked. So we did get different stuff a little bit. <laughs> Highlighters instead of blushes. But I would love to see some more different things, like maybe uh, on future collabs and also different characters. Let's see some Outer Guardians or maybe some Sailor Guardian specific stuff, like a Sailor Jupiter palette. And they can even do a smaller palette. They don't have to do a 12 color palette. Then maybe they can do like Sailor Jupiter one, Sailor Mercury one, et cetera, et cetera. That would be awesome. Maybe some villains. I know that usually ends up being requested a lot in the Sailor Moon merchandise universe. People want villain merch. People want outer guardian merch. So if ColourPop ever watches, watches this video, oh, I popped my finger. That's what the people want. <laughs> all in all, I had a lot of fun with this. There are products I still haven't used yet. I did not use that dewy face gloss. I'm really curious about that. If you guys want to see more looks from me, like a full long form YouTube video of me doing uh, more looks from this collection, maybe even incorporate some older 2020 Sailor Moon collection stuff or even other products too, let me know. Maybe I'll do another video. It just depends on how well this one does because, you know, if it bombs, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna continue on that type of content on that road, but if it does great, oh my gosh, I would love to do more. This was actually really fun. And I love, love, love how the eyeshadow came out. So happy it came out okay. I was nervous at the beginning of the video, if you guys noticed. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please, please, please do all the, all of the above. Engage in your favorite content creators' videos because that's how they grow and get pushed in the algorithm. The engagement is very, very important, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I appreciate you guys all the time. I really do. Don't forget to check me out on social media. I post all the time on Instagram, but I'm on all the socials if you want to check me out on your favorite social media. Have a good night, guys.